Single Leos, who's coming in for you? Single Leos, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Who's coming in for Single Leos? We have a Taurus, okay? Who's coming in for Single Leo? The Moon, okay? Who's coming in for Single Leo? And we have Virgo, strong Earth sign energy, Leos. Earth, wow, at the bottom of the deck. Some of you get ready for an, uh, an Earth sign. Could be Taurus, Virgo. They could have Moon and Taurus. So if they have moon and Taurus, honey, mm, get ready for passion, okay? This is a very strong feeling person. So they will uh, be very touchy-feely. They will want to hold your hand all the time. They will want to cuddle, snuggle. They will want to be near you, okay? This is a person who likes comforts. They like to know that their partner is there. Moon in Virgo is someone who is very picky, analytical, Someone who is very, um, they'll make a fuss over you. So if you're sick, they'll want to take care of you. They'll be like, okay, I know the perfect tea. I know the perfect soup for you. <laughs> you need to put on your coat. You need, yeah, you need to have this. You need to have that. Let's turn down the temperature or let's turn up the, the temperature in the house. Let's do this. Let's, this person will be very fussy over you. Okay. Very picky and fussy partner with Moon and Virgo. Okay, they'll always have the perfect solution for you as well. Great advice giver is what I'm getting. Who's coming in for single Leo? Single Leos. Who's coming in for single Leos? Who is this person? They can also be very mysterious with the energy of Cancer, the moon. Very intuitive person. They can feel your energy very easily. Who is this person coming in for single Leos? Who, ooh. That was a lot. Okay. Who is this person coming in for single Leos? We have the five of cups. We have the six of cups. And we have the ace of cups. This could be someone who they could have gone through something, some type of loss or uh, disappointment in their past. And now they're coming toward you. They're ready to love. They're ready to love again. Yeah. Six of cups ready to give, to be sweet. They could feel a soulmate connection toward you. They could be looking at this as a brand new love opportunity. It could very well be an earth sign with strong water in their chart. Show me that five of cups. We have the page of wands. We have the will of fortune. Yeah, we have the full energy. They're definitely ready to move on from whatever was sad in their past. They could have dealt with a bunch of like disappointing dating situations or love situations. Show me that Ace of Cups for single Leos. Who is this person? Ace of Cups. Knight of Wands. Oh yeah, they're ready to get this going. Ten of Swords with the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, again, I feel like this person has dealt with possibly players or they were a player. If they were a player in, in their past, this person has grown from that. They've overcome something. Yeah, so this could be a, what do they call it? A redeemed player or <laughs> a transformed player. This could be a person who did break hearts in the past with the Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords, and they've been working on themselves. They've been possibly going through some type of counseling or getting help for their issues. <clears throat> this could have even been someone who dealt with sex addiction as well. What are their intentions with single Leo? Five of Pentacles. Whoa, the Empress with the Four of Swords. If they were dealing with another person, they have definitely left that person or are in the process of leaving that person, putting something to rest. They see you as the Empress. They may feel like it's uh, hard to get your attention or get in touch with you. I got this energy for Scorpio. So this could be a Scorpio or this uh, could be someone with Scorpio, Scorpio in their chart or you have it in your chart. <clears throat> they could find it hard to get in touch with you because they see you as the empress. They may feel a bit intimidated by that. <clears throat> they could put you on a pedestal is what I'm saying. Single Leos. What is this person's intentions? To treat you yeah, yeah, as the queen of wands, as yourself, your energy, queen of wands, male or female, doesn't matter. Queen of swords. Whoo. The moon. They have a fear that you're going to chop their head off or cut them off. Why? <clears throat> Why do they have that fear? The death card, Scorpio's energy. Scorpio's coming through strong, you guys. The death card. 
Yeah, see the devil. I'm telling you, this person used to be a player. I'm getting it very strongly. They ended something very toxic. Now, if they're not a player, that's what I'm getting strongly for a lot of you. This person could have ended something <clears throat> that was very toxic in their life. They could be getting help for an addiction. Remember I mentioned that sex addiction. They could be getting help for uh, like alcohol addiction, drug addiction. Yeah, they may be afraid to tell you that. Six of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Yeah, they may have had to go away for a while to work on themselves. They may have had to invest in themselves for a while to work on themselves. And I feel like this person is going to come in and share that with you. Yeah, how will Leo feel for singles? Two of Swords, okay, you'll consider it. Seven of Pentacles, you're looking at it, okay? And the High Priestess, you're going to use your intuition. Yeah, and really focus on this Eight of Pentacles to see if something can be worked out with this person. Yeah, what will come of this? Whoa, the Tower with the Nine of Swords. Okay, kaboom. Okay, Seven of Wands. Okay, so no. <laughs> no, Leo, look at you. You may leave this person. Six of Wands with the Strength card. You standing in your power. Six of Wands. Moving forward. Yeah, Six of Swords. Moving forward. Three of Wands. Turning your back to the situation. So you may feel like this person has too much baggage. Or you may feel like um, you don't want to deal with a person like this. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't Leo want to deal with this person? Two of Wands. It's like, well, I just don't want to. Two of Wands. Yeah, it's like you're going to choose a different path to go down. King of Cups. Ooh, some of you may choose a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or you may feel like you have feelings for someone else more so than this person. Yeah, Ten of Cups. You may feel like you're happier with someone else. Okay. It doesn't mean that this person is bad, but you may not feel a connection with them. You may, you may just not feel it, you know? It's not that this person is bad. I do feel like they have come out of something that was like they were a player. They've been transformed or some type of addiction. What do they want to say? I really admire you. Yeah. That's why I said this person will put you on a pedestal. I can't help that I love you. And one more. You are so very special to me. They really, I'm telling you, this person puts you on a pedestal. They feel like you're perfect. And they may feel very insecure. Like they're, they're very imperfect or they have a lot of imperfections so they may feel like embarrassed about their life what letters are coming through for single leos who is this person person place or thing the letter u the letter j the letter z the letter i the letter y and the letter x is coming through we have the letter g at the bottom of the deck this is a person, I feel like they just struggle with confidence. They really do struggle with their confidence. Like they don't trust themselves. They don't trust that they'll be a good partner for you. And you're going to feel that energy and be like, uh, yeah, maybe you're not. And I'm moving on. Okay. When can single Leos expect this person? Saturday. Okay. Could be significant. 24th through the 31st, the 1st through the 9th. Let's get one more in January. You could have just met this person because um, we just came out of the month of January and December could be significant, okay? All righty, single Leos, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. Take care, bye.